I'm so happy I'm doing this video because I don't know why. I've just been feeling mad, unproductive lately. I don't know why that is, and I'm I'm actually dieting right now. Um, so I think you know my mood and everything is just completely different. But anyway, anyway, we'll get through this. All right, we're gonna put in that work today. Get back on track tomorrow. Um, but anyway, we are back. Uh, with a brand new reaction, a brand new artist. Uh, the name is Ren, R-E-N. Uh, never heard of him, know nothing about him. Um, but clearly he's really popular based off of these views. And the, uh, I think I was requested, this was requested a few times, you know, so really excited to find out what this all about. Um, but of course, me not knowing who he is and what he's all about, I gotta do some quick research and uh and then we'll get into it so he's known professionally as ren his name is ren aaron gill uh is a welsh uh songwriter uh musician rapper producer and director he was a member of the indie hip-hop band trick the fox and the british buskin band the big push what the hell is buskin The British Busking Band. What is that? Okay, I, I'll look that up later. Uh, in 2022, Ren released High Ren, a viral video that charted worldwide in YouTube's trending music video chart. It garnered 6.8 million views in two months and received an honorable mention for Best European Music Video at the Prague Music Video Awards, as well as a nomination for Best Music Video at the... Camry Maj. Camry Maj. Oh, camera image. <laughs> camera image 2023. Jesus. Oh, Lord, forgive me. Uh, the next six songs Ren Release, Sick Boy, Bittersweet, Illness of Our Time, Animal Flow, and Suicide also appeared in the United, in the United Kingdom's trending music video chart on YouTube. Okay. He's released two uh, released two albums, Freckled Angels and Sick Boy. Sick Boy reached the number one spot in the UK charts. In the US, it debuted at number 137 on Billboard 200. Okay. All right, okay. Well, he wears a lot of hats to be a songwriter, musician, rapper, producer, and director. But um, he's just getting started, basically, is what I took away from all of this. He's, he's just getting started, but he's off to a great start. He has a, a couple of viral uh, music videos, and I'm going to assume these uh, videos are more than just the video, but the actual song itself is great. But... Um, he has some viral videos on YouTube, and he's, he's off to a great start, which is really, really good. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to, to hear this, man. I'm really, really excited to hear this. Uh, again, don't know anything about him, but how to, in 2022, so that was rather recent. That was only two years ago. I don't know how this went viral, and, you know, I, I didn't see anything about it, but... It happens, so we're better late than never. Let's find out what all the hype was about. Ren, hi Ren, official music video. Let's go.
your number one We said periphery Rant on your please to see me It's been weeks since we spoke, bro I know you need me You're the sheep, I'm the shepherd Know your place to lead me Know your place to be biting off the hand that feeds me Hi, bro I've been taking some time to be distant I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself Since my therapist told me I'm ill And I've been making some progress lately And I've learned some new coping skills So I haven't really needed you much, man I think we need to just step back and chill Ran, you sound more insane than I do You think that those doctors are really there to guide you Been through this a million times Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be alive to Okay, take another pill, boy Drown yourself in the sound of white noise Follow this ten-step program Rejoice, all your problems will be gone Fucking dumb, boy Nah, mate this time is different, man, trust me I feel like things might be falling in place And my music's been kind of doing bits too Like I actually might do something great And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered For doing something special with myself That's why I don't think that we should talk, man Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I I am we, we are one, split in two, that makes one So you see, you gotta kill you If you wanna kill me, I'm not left over dinner I'm not scraps on the side Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, friend? Nowhere Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that I never chase numbers, statistics or stats I never write hooks for the radio They never even play me So why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connected And the people who find it respect it And for me that's enough Cause this life's been tough So it gives me a purpose I can rest in Man, you sound so pretentious Ran, your music is so self-centered No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself Trust me you should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you Remind you to manage expectations Provide you perspective That thing you neglect it I get it You wanna be a big deal Next Jimi Hendrix? Forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man You're wrong When I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall By acknowledging this song Ren sits down Has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song That was not done previous A battle with his subconscious Eminem did it Played on guitar Plan B did it Man, you're no original You're criminal Rip off artist The pinnacle of your success Is stealing other people Material. Right, mate, we've heard it all before. Uh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you. I don't need you. I don't need to hear this. Cause I'm fine by myself. I'm a genius. And I will be great. And I will make waves. And I'll shake up the whole world beneath it. That's right. Speak your truth. Your fucking dog complex leaks out of you. It's refreshing to ask for you to say it instead of downplay it. Uh, music is all about the creative process. And if people can find something to relate to within that, then that's just a bonus. Fuck you. I'ma fucking kill you, Ren. I'ma fucking kill me, then. Let's fucking have you, Ren. I'ma do it once we prove it. Who are you to doubt my music? Because I call the shots, I choose it. Die. Yeah, I call the shots, and so I choose who survives. I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside. <sighs> News flash. I was created at the dawn of creation. I am temptation. I, I really couldn't even find a good spot to stop. Um, but seem, it seems like he's about to introduce a, another part of himself. So before we before we get introduced to that person, I, 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 I just needed a place to stop. All right. Not what I was expecting. Not what I was expecting at all. Um, this is very very beautiful um it's so funny that he referenced eminem and i i hate comparing every white rapper to eminem but i feel like M. it's a reason why m is who he is he he's kind of the first white rapper that was introduced in a digestible way to black people. And the reason why that's so important is because obviously hip hop was created by black people. So it's kind of, you can't really make it far in hip hop without being accepted by black. Now hip hop is global. You know, you have Asian rappers and you have like it's rappers in every ethnicity all over the globe and that's the beauty of hip hop it's the youngest genre well one of the youngest genres but it's one of the fastest growing and, and if you have a story you can do it and that's the beauty of hip hop um but again for for you to have like that global you you want to be recognized as the greatest you kind of have to be accepted by everybody um 
and it's especially the the people who created it. So in saying all of that, I feel like when I see it, like a lot of white and I shouldn't even call him white, but like just anyone non-black, it seems like this style, like that Eminem style is the most popular, which is a really good thing because as an Eminem fan, um, like you kind of have to, you, you really have to screw it up in order to, at least for me not to be a fan. Like, if you have a really good story and you can rap and you can actually deliver your bars, like, I'll like it nine times out of ten. And I really like how he's doing this. So, again, this is very... The, the reason why I'm bringing up Eminem and, and this whole comparison talk, it really reminds me of Eminem and Slim Shady. Um, that, you know, that's kind of how Eminem was really introduced, you know, the whole Slim Shady persona and everything. And now you got his most recent album where... It's the death of Slim Shady. Um, but this this idea of kind of being, uh, I guess schizophrenic is the word, but just having these multiple personalities and them kind of battling it out with each other, um, even though it's one person and it, it, it's kind of tearing that person apart um, because these two, because these, these, you are both sides, right? Like he said, like I am me. You are, you know, I'm. In order to kill me, you gotta kill you too. You know what I mean? Like, so, and that's something that I feel like everybody kind of has that, right? We all have light and dark within us. We all have good and evil in us. Um, and what makes us who we are is the part that we decide to act on. Um, no, if you know where I got that from, put it in the comment section. Uh, but um, to th this whole theme of him being like in a psych ward and like going crazy because of it, um, it's very, it's heartbreaking and sad. Um, the fact that his music means so much to him, that it's it's tearing him apart, that you know, he has a side of him that says, you know what, I'm I'm doing the right thing, I'm moving in the right direction, I got some movement, I know my music isn't mainstream and popular and I'm not being awarded awards and you know, you know, having these special moments and you know, these special interviews and stuff like that, but I'm moving in the right direction, I'm staying true to my art. And then you have this other side that's kinda like antagonizing that side. Like, look. You're not going nowhere with this. And I feel like that's a that's a conversation that I feel like a lot of artists deal with. You kind of live in your mind, especially uh, as you're growing. Like, man, I'm not going to make it. I'm wasting my time. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. If I am to keep going, I should sell out and do what's popular out here. Um, and some people do it. Some people don't. But it's beautiful to see that an artist is willing to express that. You know, a lot of times we watch some of our favorite artists, they're coming up and we like them, right? And then they, at some point, whether it's the label or whether it's within them or whether it's succumbing to the pressure or whatever the case may be as, as the sun just comes out of nowhere, um, that artist just changes. And like what we know and what, they, what we love them for um, is kind of gone, right? And so to see him battling with that, as well as a multitude of things, it seems like. So basically what I've heard in just the four minutes, which is crazy, I feel like I, I, I know this man's whole life story in just four minutes, but we have, we're, we're dealing with depression. We're dealing with doubt. We're dealing with um, some sort of, some sort of need for, um, He's looking for it's, it's like it's, it seems as if he's looking for some sort of gratification for what he's doing, and he doesn't feel like he's getting it. Um, I'm trying to think what else has he said. Um, creative expression, he's battling with that. Um, he hasn't really gotten into anything personal. It seems like it's all it's been all about 
the music so far. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like so far that's what I've gathered. But again, we have a whole nother five minutes. So and, and again, it seems like he's about to introduce a whole nother character to this. So, but it's um it's really sad, and, and I appreciate I really appreciate this because again. So many artists, they it just happens, right? Again, they just kind of sell out and they do something else, and you're like, "What happens?" But it's good to see an artist actually talking about their creative, you know, desires and how they're struggling with them, and whether they should continue on or you know, like I, I'm really liking this. I like this. I was created at the dawn of creation. I am temptation. I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason, beheading all kings. I am sin, with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, anti-cry, father of lies. Mephopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my soul of a clip, my name is stitched to your lips, so you see. I don't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that capitalizes chaos that causes the vision. I live inside death, the beginning of ends. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. Hi, Ren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill. But just as sure as the tide starts turning, just as sure as the night has dawned, just as sure as the rain falls soon on is dry when you stand in an eye of a storm. I was made to be tested and twisted. I was made to be broken and beaten. I was made by his hand as a part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet. And you know me, my will is eternal. And you know me, you've met me before. Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor. And I go by many names also. Some people know me as hope. Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope. And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today. I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain and I didn't once flinch or shake. So carry the man I've become when I sing from the top of my lungs. The hour we tire all stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong And when I have gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a coin to different sides Before we get into another transition, let me just say that might have been my favorite part. Um, yeah, just the melody part, just the, the singing along with the rapping part, that was fire. That was fire. Um, but yeah, nah, this is, this is, this is almost kind of hard to listen to, um, now that I think about it. But that, that, that part was fire. That part, I'm, I really, I really enjoyed his singing. When I was 17 years old, mm -hmm. I showered out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. Mm. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners 
and there were no real losers in psychological warfare. But there were victims, and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow would cast. Mm. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older, and I learned to relax. And I learned to soften, and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget, that we are human. That was really good. That was really good. That was so many. Wow. Um. Yeah. Now, now I can see how and why he wears so many hats. It, it all makes sense now. Um. And wow. Every genre that you connect, like that incorporated so many different genres and so many different styles. And then ended on damn near like a spoken word. That was beautiful. Um, you know, man, we give artists a hard time. You know, we really, really do. So many people ask, why do I do research on artists and songs and stuff like that? I feel like the story of these artists is just as important as the music itself. Now, of course, the music is always the most important part. Um, because at the end of the day, we don't know these people. We don't know these artists. We just know they made a song and that song gets us through our daily commute or it gets us through our day or it's just my favorite song to work out to or you know my favorite song before I go to church or whatever the case may be. The story behind these artists and behind these songs are just as important because it, it gives you a... I think you will have more of an appreciation, at least I do, when I do the research. Now, in this case, I damn near don't even have to do the research because he. I feel like he told me everything. Um... Now, I'm I'm curious, I, I would probably like to know how did he get to this point of being able to get this um, open uh, about himself and about how he felt about himself and his music. Um, so I guess I could do that, but um, yeah, that, that was... It was borderline heartbreaking. Um, but it was beautiful in the sense that he was able to express it. Um, yeah, that was that was a lot. Um, I'm not going to lie. At some points, I was even a little scared. Like... I felt like I was watching somebody having like a, a an out of body experience, like like they were kind of just just going like I I don't know the exact term, but when somebody's moving sporadically, but it seems like it's not in their control. That's how it felt watching this. Um, 
but it's um wow yeah that was whew, that was a lot that was a lot but beautiful in an odd way and even though it, it almost even got a little disturbing at some points, it was beautiful. The expression of it, the poetic, you know, how poetic it was. Um, clearly, this is something and the, you can feel it. You know what I mean? This isn't a facade. This isn't something fake. Um, I'm sure probably if I did the research, they probably would tell me a little bit more about his upbringing, I would actually like to know. Um, but I guess I'll say. Oh. Oh, I just, I've read something right here and I saw suicide and I, oh, I almost. Because I was about to say, it didn't say he died, it said he's still alive. He said he's 34, but it said, Ren dedicated the album, I, I don't know which one he's talking about, Freckled Angels. Uh, Ren dedicated the album and the title track to one of his best, uh, best friends, Joe Hughes, who died by suicide in 2010. Yeah. Whew. Ren has spent many years dealing with health health issues. Uh, he was mig misdiagnosed with depression, bipolar disorder, and later was diagnosed with Lyme disease in Belgium. In 2016, he received experimental stem cell treatment. See, this is this is this is one of the many things that I hate about Western civilization, medicine, and health. You just become a lab rat. You just, but and it it, it really it annoys me. It bothers me because I have an aunt uh, who was recently misdiagnosed a couple times. Um. And I won't get into her situation because I believe she even watches some of my videos. So I'm not even going to get to it, to it. But I, I don't, I see now I'm upset. Now I don't, now I'm upset. Oh boy, y'all could, y'all really know how to get, bring it out of me, boy. And these freaking reactions, man. Gosh. Ren, I'm a fan. In one reaction, in one song, I'm a fan. Um, this was beautiful. It was a lot of things. Um, and some of those things aren't good. Again, it, it, you could feel a little disturbed at points. You could feel a little uncomfortable. You could kind of feel a, sh a shift in your own energy and, and you know temperament. But it was beautiful. And I really enjoyed it. Um, now this is, this is somebody that I could tell I'm going to have to, when I do react to him again, I'm sure he has some other great things that I should check out. I have to mentally prepare myself. You know what I mean? This is one of those situations where I have to mentally prepare myself. So I'm definitely, go if it's some more that I need to check out, y'all just let me know. But just know if I don't get to it immediately, it's because I know I'm, I'm going to have to Mental, I'm going to have to be in a space where I can handle it. You know what I mean? Because again, music, again, music, anything. Just, you know, scrolling on YouTube and reading comments. That can affect your mood. Anything can affect your mood and your energy. And, um, and so I, I just know I got to be in the right space mentally to digest this. So if it take me a, a minute to get to this. Just know that's the reason why. But I definitely want to hear more from Ren. Um, absolutely exceptional. 
Um, and I'm really happy that he's moving in the right direction in regards to his career. Um, and I don't find it to be a coincidence that this song and this moment is kind of what catapulted him because um, it seems like the most vulnerable and um, the most direct that I've ever heard of artists. So really excited to hear more. Y'all let me know what else from Ren I need to check out. Don't forget that 75K giveaway. Like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time with Ren, peace.